So we cleaned off, uh, cleaned out the garage a little bit, uh, made some space. So uh, these are the racks now. I put the new cross braces in, so they'll just need to be painted. Um, I might not bother to be honest, but I might paint them. Um, and then obviously the uh, third rack is now in place as well. So we have a U-shaped look. So all this will be the fish room. Six tanks, top, bottom, and then the bottom sump and uh, possibly some storage or some uh, fry tanks individually wired up fry tanks all the rest of my garage stuff is out in, on the driveway uh, so it just needs to be cleaned up uh, I'm going to spray those two tanks out there now that uh, standing out there so I'm going to spray those uh, get the tanks in position and then I'm going to start thinking about the plumbing as well so uh, I might do the plumbing before the tanks are in otherwise it might be a bit difficult to try and maneuver my way through um, but that's a general idea. So here we are just uh, spraying up the uh, two tanks now so just doing the ends I'll tilt them over then and uh, do the backs as well and the, and the other side uh, especially for the 240 I'm going to do both sides on the 240 and the back on the 180 because it's going to be facing where the sink's going to be I'm just going to do one end black um, where the uh, overflow is going to be and one side and the back um, the other side is going to be left clear so I can see it through from the uh, from that side as well um, that other 180 is probably going to be um, sprayed on one side as well already got it partially sprayed uh, for the overflow because I've got the overflow in the bottom of the tank this one uh, the others I've decided to put them in the sides um, so that one I'll probably spray up on that side as well because that's going to be facing the wall so I don't want to really be able to look through the wall on all blacked out so uh, I'm going to be doing that one as well and just sort of finish off the blacking there as well where the overflow is so another day is coming to a close um, I've been quite busy just making sure all these racks are assembled so I put in the cross braces um, into there as you can see top and, and bottom um, so they're all screwed together so all these racks are then screwed in together as well to give them extra strength so they're not separate racks they're well they're separate racks but they actually screw through the first rack into the second rack and uh, second rack into the third rack um, so make it nice and rigid so this isn't going to go anywhere if I shake it it's, it's not going to tip over nothing it's supported itself basically um, what else I've done today is I've sprayed uh, the one, 180 tank uh, back and sides as you can see it's looking really great all blacked up and I've also sprayed the 240, one of the 240s. Um, I'll just spray in one of the ends at the moment of the uh, the other 180. So, uh, as I've said before, this is coming along nicely. So we're going to have 180, 180, 240, 240, then a 125 and a 125. Um, I've got all the tanks, so this is going to look pretty good when it's done. I'll clear up all the mess underneath there. I've got to run the, the piping through. I've got to do the electrics through there. Um, but I think that'll be a job. Maybe not for tomorrow. I think I'll have a day off tomorrow and uh, maybe do this uh, again next weekend. But uh, the tanks are, are getting there. Um, it'll just be a case of plumbing them up. And it'll be jobs good. So thanks for watching.